Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing awesome. In this video, I want to talk about different ways to learn from your couch. You surely have even more and better ideas, so leave a comment down below and let's get started. So there are many ways to learn from your couch. Uh, one of them are podcasts. You guys know I love podcasts. Recently, I've been using them a lot for Swedish, Let's Svenska med Oscar, Simple Swedish Podcast, and I also love videos. So you can watch videos from your couch or listen to podcasts from your couch. You can also listen to podcasts doing other things like cooking, walking, or whatever you feel like doing. So that's a great strategy. Then something I've done, and I'm very glad to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by italki, which I've been using for over five years. Of course, after five years of using the platform, I really know how to book a session, but I'm going to show you anyway so that you can book your first session today. So you simply go to italki.com and if you don't have an account, you create one and then you go to find a teacher. Once you're here, you can choose which language you're learning. For instance, you can look for English. Then you have many options to choose from, where the teacher's from, uh, what their native language is, uh, what other languages he or she speaks, and then, of course, for instance, the price. So you can see there are a lot of different price ranges and you can adapt them to whatever your budget is. Then you can also think, what lesson type would I like to have? I normally take conversation practice, but you can just simply focus on whatever is important for you. For instance, business English. Then you can also choose the time, like, okay, Friday from 12 till 8, for instance. And then you can choose from professional teacher or community tutor. You can also choose both and then see which results you get. Whenever you've chosen a teacher, you click on book and then several options will appear. For instance, a 30 minute trial lesson, which is normally cheaper. And you can also choose from other options uh, that that person is offering. Some teachers also offer packages. So that's pretty convenient because it's a little bit cheaper. Going back to the topic of the video, you don't only have italki. You could, you know, get a tandem. You could go to a offline school if that's your thing. Uh, you could look for a teacher in another platform as well, but you know, talking, getting a tutor, getting a teacher, this can be a huge help. Uh, and you can do that from your home. So if it's offline, like going somewhere, you cannot do it from your couch, sorry. <laughs> but um, there are many options you can do online nowadays. So that's something you can do. So we've seen podcast videos and also, you know, teaching or tandems that are options you can use from your couch. And what else can you do from your couch? Well, you can watch video, not only videos, but also movies. You can listen to music. There are really many things you can do. You can also read. So reading would be something you can definitely do from your couch. There are different types of books. Some are d adapted to your level if you're getting started. Some are, you know, normal, regular books you can read. And I don't know if you've seen it, but I did like, I had this challenge last year to read my first book in Russian and I wasn't that good at it. So I, what I did was just, you know, approach it in a very chill way, I would say, like having a routine, which is a daily routine of reading one page and then just going it one page at a time, right? Just don't get overstressed about it. You don't have much time, maybe. Well, then just do 10 minutes a day. Yeah, so that's one thing you can do. So you could also write from your home. I have, actually, I have a diary uh, in German and I really like it. I also talked about it in another video. I will link it um, somewhere. <laughs> I always don't know where. Um, yeah, so basically you can do almost anything from your couch. So you can be a couch potato <laughs> and still learn languages. Um, actually, I've never told you that, but one of the ideas of calling my channel couch polyglot is because I really love this expression couch potato. I don't want to be one because it's associated with, you know, never exercising and so on. But yeah, you can sometimes 
enjoy your couch and i like that um yeah so let me know what you think about it like what else can you do to improve your language skills from your couch what do you usually do and what did you think about the tips yeah i hope they were um interesting i mean probably nothing new but it's always maybe interesting to try new th new things out you know maybe you're not a podcast person i used to think i'm not a podcast person i never listened to podcasts i thought i'm more like a video type of person but then i actually realized the way i use videos i sometimes use them like podcasts like i don't actually watch what's going on i just listen to it with my bluetooth uh, headphones or whatever um so yeah it's basically like a podcast so i am passionate about podcasts though. <laughs> i didn't used to be passionate about it so maybe this happens to you with other things like maybe you're not the writer type but maybe you know writing your own diary is a cool thing yeah maybe i don't know yeah so let me know what you think and i hope you like it and yeah see you soon bye bye <laughs>